All right, the first thing we need to do is we need to understand what power is. In an SI world, or system international, uh, power is defined as torque cross width omega. The torque is pretty self-evident. It's referred to as tau because it's a vector. Omega is also a vector, so if we were in Cartesian coordinates, it could be x, y, z, and uh, it's, it's the cross product. So essentially, if I'm applying torque in one direction, if I'm applying a torque here, I'm applying it possibly in the y, I'm rotating about the z-axis. So you're essentially getting your torque about that point. So it's a cross product. However, in terms of what we're dealing with, you can always refer to it as the perpendicular torque. It's much simpler that way. So the first thing I'm going to explain is what omega is. Omega is the rotational, the angular rotational velocity but it's done in radians per second. It's not done in RPM. Well, what is a radian? In every circle, there is exactly two pi radians. So if we were to take that, take a rotational velocity, let's say 90 RPM, well, 90 RPM, if we divide that by 60 seconds, gives us, sorry, 1.5 rotations per second. All right, we're partway there. So if we have 1.5 rotations per second, and there's two pi radians in every circle, we end up with 3 pi rad per second. So that's the units we want. So whenever we calculate anything in the microcontroller, we're going to have to get back to these original units. I'm getting a couple of, of specimens. What I've got here, right here, is a two and a half pound weight. What I've got here is a torque wrench from end to end is, I'm going to say, it's, it's short, short of it, but for illustration purposes, I'm going to say it's one meter long. Now two point, two and a half pounds is pretty close to one kilogram. And if I was to be holding this by my finger, we'd have gravity pointing in the downward direction. And gravity acts at 9.81 meters per second squared. So if I have one kilogram times 9.81, I get approximately 9.81 newtons of force. Now if I was to take this and I was to hang my one pound weight, and if this happen to be exactly one meter long and I have a force of let's say approximately 10 newtons, what do we get? Well we get 10 newtons times one meter equals 10 newton meters. Relatively simple. So now we understand a little bit about torque. You can visualize this as the lever arm or your crank arm on a bicycle crank. So my foot would be here on the pedal pushing. Now you obviously wouldn't have a one meter long crank, but how long your crank arms, how, how long your, your crank arms are becomes very important to the calculation. 